For the past couple months, Fortnite would only run at 60 <laughs> FPS on my 165 Hertz 1440p Acer Predator gaming monitor. Prior to Chapter 5, Season 3 of Fortnite, I could launch the game, drag the game window over to my 1440p monitor, and it would run up to 165 FPS on my RTX 4080. Since the start of Chapter 5, Season 3, however, no matter what I did, Fortnite would only run at 60 FPS. I figured it had to be a setting somewhere, either in the game or in Windows that was causing this problem, but since I only play Fortnite maybe an hour or two a week when I'm gaming with my friends, I just kept procrastinating finding a solution. Now before I go any further, I should let you know the problem I was having and the solution I found is for multi-monitor setups like I have. That being said, if you only have one monitor and your games are also being locked down at a much lower FPS than your monitor's refresh rate, this video may still help you because I'm gonna go over everything that I did before discovering the fix for my problem. And those things may very well help you. Assuming you have an NVIDIA GPU. If you have an AMD Radeon or Intel GPU, sadly, I don't know how much any of this is going to help you. Anyway, the first thing I checked was to make sure I had the frame rate limit in Fortnite's display settings at 165 to match my monitor's refresh rate. I then right clicked on my desktop to go to the display settings in Windows. And there I scrolled down to advanced display, selected my 1440p monitor from the drop down at the top and made sure the refresh rate was set to 165 Hertz. You would think that would be enough, right? Wrong. I then opened the Nvidia app by pressing the Windows key on my keyboard and typing in Nvidia app. You probably saw NVIDIA control panel as I was typing that up, and yes, we'll be going into that as well. But anyway, in the NVIDIA app, I went to System, clicked on my 1440p monitor here, and then in the Display Properties field, I made sure the refresh rate was set to 165 hertz here as well. Finally, I went into the NVIDIA control panel and under display, change resolution, I selected my Acer monitor and made sure the refresh rate here was also set to 165 hertz. For anyone running a single monitor setup with an NVIDIA GPU, this should get your games running at or up to your monitor's refresh rate. But did this fix my problem? You'd think it would, but it didn't. Now you can see here, I have two monitors. Uh, this one here is my 165 Hertz 1440p Acer monitor I primarily use for gaming. And the other one is a 4K 60 Hertz LG, which I use for video editing and whatnot. The fact that my frame rate was being locked to 60 FPS led me to believe Fortnite was acting as if the game window was open on my 60 Hertz monitor and not my 165 Hertz monitor. I mean, that was the only thing that made any sense to me, seeing as I had the frame rate in Fortnite set to 165 and I had my monitor's refresh rate set to 165 Hertz everywhere else. Oh, that just reminded me. I also made sure I had adaptive sync enabled on my monitor since it is G-Sync compatible. Anyway, to keep the story from getting any longer, I found there seems to be something going on between Windows and Fortnite, which is causing this. What exactly is going on, I don't know, but I found I can right click on my desktop, go to display settings, select my 1440p monitor, and under the multiple displays dropdown, if I tick this box to make this my main display, then when I launch Fortnite, the game runs up to my monitor's 165 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so while I was working on making this video, something changed. Up until this point, setting my 165 hertz monitor as my main display was the only thing that would fix the problem I was having. But while making this video, I found I can leave my 4K monitor as my primary display, and if I turn V-Sync off in Fortnite, then the game runs at 165 FPS. I mean, that makes sense, that's the way it should work, since I have the frame rate limit set to 165, but I swear to you, until I started recording stuff, 
it didn't make a difference whether V-Sync was on or off. Fortnite would only run at 60 FPS. But of course, now that I'm making a video, it works the way it's supposed to. Dude, I feel like NVIDIA, Epic Games, Microsoft, someone is gaslighting me right now. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I don't know, maybe I am an idiot. Idiot. And just needed to leave V-Sync off this whole time. But I know I tried that and it didn't make a difference. But yeah, anyway, I guess that's another thing to try that may help you. Okay, back to the original ending for the video. Sheesh, I can't freaking believe this. So far, Fortnite is the only game I've had this problem with. Admittedly, I don't play a ton of normal flat PC games. I do more VR gaming than anything else. But I did try seeing if this problem existed when I ran a game from Steam, and it ran fine without me having to set my gaming monitor as the main display. For anyone else experiencing this or a similar problem, I hope one of the things I shared in this video fixes it for you. And for anyone watching with only a single monitor, I hope the Windows display settings, NVIDIA app, and NVIDIA control panel stuff helped you get your games out of 60 FPS purgatory. Before you take off, I could really use your help, you know, by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, or maybe even consider throwing a buck or two my way with a super thanks if this video helped you and you'd like to help me continue making content like this. Another great way to help out is to watch some of my other videos. Uh, if you've ever been curious about virtual reality and wondered what kind of performance you can get out of your GPU in VR, that's one of the things I do here on my channel is test different GPUs in VR. So you just may find your GPU in this playlist here. And if not, there should be one that performs similarly enough to give you a rough idea of what you can expect from your GPU. Come on, do it, you know you want to. Subscribe!